don't. Santa's been kidnapped by the jealous Easter Bunny. And now Christmas will be ruined. That's why today I'll be turning myself into Santa's elf helper to try and save him. I only have 100 days to save Santa with my awesome elf powers and defeat the jealous Easter Bunny who took him. Otherwise, Christmas is ruined. On day one, I spawned in as a baby elf. Oh, look how tiny I am. Though I only have eight hearts of HP. But luckily, I'll be able to get more HP later by upgrading my elf all the way into an elf. But here's the deal. Santa's been kidnapped, and it's my job to save Christmas. In fact, Santa's literally right there in that jar. And that's the Easter Bunny and his two comrades. Now, you're probably thinking to yourself, right, guy, just go take Santa back and run. Yeah, I'd love to do that. But I only have one life as well. Those three could kill me because I only have eight hearts of HP. And speaking of, I'm probably going to run. Ugh, I'm out of here. Get out. Easter's better. Get back here. First things first, we got to get away. Now, we're luckily a tiny little elf, so I should be able to hop under one high trees, which will make it easy for us to get some logs real quick. You'll never save your precious Santa. Oh, Santa's ours, elf. Oh, they're coming for me. We need to find another one high tree. I need three logs to get out of here. He's under this tree. Okay, we got two logs over here. Oh, I got punched. Okay, let's go over here. Oh, I see a tree. I see a tree up here I can use. Okay, we go up here. Right. Coming for you. Oh, this is not good. This is not good. Oh, we got the third log. Go, 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 go. Oh, go here. Okay, we need to escape now. Push him off a cliff. Oh, I fell off a cliff. Wait, where'd he go? He's Wait. down here. Oh, they see me. I'm going to have to use my wood to get out of here. There's oh. water over here. I'm using it to get down. Oh, he fell. Oh, we're low. We're low. We need to get out of here. Do you see him? Oh, he got out of the cave. I'm stuck down here, guys. Okay, we need to go. We need to go. We need to go. Oh, okay, we'll go up here. Okay, I'm pretty sure I lost him. We lost him in the caves. Let's go. Let's just worry about getting out of here and getting as far away as possible for right now. Okay, I found a place to call home and make my base. It's right next to this nether portal right here. Now, I'm thinking for safety's sake, we should probably build the base in this cave somewhere. Probably towards the back that way. So that's exactly what we're going to do. Let's first grab some more logs. Okay, let's go and let's make a basic wooden pickaxe. And now let's start digging out where I want my base. Right in this wall right here by this water. Now let's make ourselves a stone pickaxe. And let's hollow this base out. Okay, the base is hollowed out. Let's quickly craft some doors. Put them at the entrance. And now we have an easy way in and out of the base. Okay, let's also make some furnaces. And now our smelting station's also done. It looks like the sun is also starting to set outside. So we're gonna keep working on the base for now until we're able to get a bed. I finished making our elf base on day six and I knew I didn't have much time to start working on elf upgrades. Cause you see, Santa is currently trapped in a glass jar and only the last hammer upgrade is gonna be able to free him and save Christmas. Okay, we've got a bed now, meaning we can now speed through the days simply by sleeping in our bed. And now that the base is done, we can finally work on our elf upgrades. The first elf upgrade I wanna work on is unlocking my toy maker's hammer. It's a hammer that acts like a diamond ax, but it swings like a diamond sword. It's really OP. And then to make matters even stronger, it will give me golden bonus hearts simply for breaking people's shields. Now to actually unlock it, we need to kill two players with a diamond axe, modify an item three times in an anvil, and use a grindstone three times. None of which is that hard, so let's begin. First things first, let's go down to the mine shaft and let's grab a bunch of iron to make an anvil and grabbing some diamonds to make a diamond axe. Okay, we've definitely got all the diamonds and iron we need. So let's go back to the base and let's craft ourselves a diamond axe. Okay, so first things first, let's make some sticks and make ourselves the diamond axe that we're gonna need. Now we also need to make ourselves an anvil. So let's go ahead and smelt some iron and see if we have enough. So first things first, we need three blocks of iron. We're gonna put those three blocks of iron on top and simply put four ingots below and we have ourselves an anvil, which we'll just put right there. Now let's go to bed and we'll use the anvil a bunch of times tomorrow. Okay, day seven. Now this part should be pretty easy. All I have to do is throw my iron sword in here and let's name it. Okay, this is called the health stealer. Get it? Instead of health, it's elf. I'm an elf. Anyway, that's what I had to modify. Let's call the ax. I'm not gonna keep you long. And let's name this stick, stick too. There we go, three items modified using the anvil. Now let's make a grindstone. So to make a grindstone, we need two wooden planks, two sticks, and a stone slab. So we luckily already have three stones, so let's turn that into a stone slab. We have stick and stick two, combine with the stone slab, and combine with two planks, and we get ourselves a grindstone, which we'll put right there. Now we're just gonna use that three times, which right now you're gonna notice I can't put anything in there. It just doesn't work. I need to repair items. It's the only way I'm gonna use it right now. So let's go into our crafting table, make some sticks, and craft ourselves another stone pickaxe. We're then gonna use that stone pickaxe literally just once, bring it over to the grindstone and put both in. And now we'll get a fully repaired stone pickaxe. Nice and easy. Now we just gotta do that two more times. 
Okay, cool. We're done. And with that, there's literally only one more upgrade to go. Okay, so for the last part of this upgrade, I need to get two kills on players with a diamond axe. Luckily, we have armor and a shield because we're definitely going to need it if we want to stand a chance here. So anyway, without further ado, let's go look for their base because I, I honestly have no idea where the Easter bunny went. Okay, so let's go look for the bunny base since it's literally the last quest we need to complete. I'm coming for you, bunnies. Oh, I see smoke and torches. That's got to be a base. That's got to be their base, actually. I'm near 100% certain I just found their base. They literally gave their own base away by having smoke come out of it. I literally would have ran right past that if that didn't have smoke. I'm going for it. We just need to get two kills with this diamond axe. And let's see if we can get on this tree. Okay, we're in the trees. Now let's get to their base. They are literally below me right now. I'm going in. Ready? Oh my god! Oh, the elf just dropped it on us! Okay, we killed one. We gotta go. We got one kill with the diamond axe. We was trying to shoot with the bow. Oh, ow! He hurts! He hurts, bro! He's gotta be low. Oh, here's the Easter Bunny. Oh, oh, I'm hurt. Oh, we got one. We got two kills. Okay, we're out of here. Oh, go down here. Get some food. Oh, we're low. Okay, let's quickly do the upgrade. We unlock the toy maker's hammer. We have it. We have it. We have it. Now our shield should be infinite. Here we go. Here they come. We can kill them. Let's just get far away from the base. And we're gonna sneak attack them. Ready? Okay, we're going in. Okay, we're doing good. We killed one. If I disable his shield, I should get two more temporary hearts. I did. Nice. Yes, the golden hearts. We got them. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Get out of here. And we're gone. Let's go. This toy maker's hammer is incredible. Okay, let him swim after me. We'll kill him in a sec. We need to lose them. He should be coming up here shortly. We can hide in the grass. Enemy spotted. Okay, here he comes. Oh, 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 he's still here. He's still here. I thought he left. We got him. Okay, he's running. I'll let him run. I'll let him run. We're gonna use this chance to just get ahead. We need to get out of here before they catch me. Okay, we've officially unlocked our first combat upgrade, the Toy Maker's Hammer. We don't need our Iron Sword or our Diamond Axe any longer. And now that we have the Toy Maker's Hammer, let's work on the next upgrade, which is Eggnog. For three milk buckets, 24 eggs, and 32 glass bottles, we unlock a cup of Eggnog. But not just any cup of Eggnog. When I drink this infinite Eggnog, I get both resistance and regeneration, meaning I basically have infinite health whenever I need it. So let's get to work. First things first, let's make a ourselves three buckets. Now let's go find some cows that we can milk. Perfect. Here we go. And three buckets of milk. Now let's grab a bunch of sand so we can make some glass bottles. Okay, sand acquired. Okay, let's get our sand smelting. There we go. We've got all the glass bottles we need. And all we need to do left is collect some eggs, which we'll start doing tomorrow. Okay, we've got all the eggs that we need, which means we can unlock eggnog, which is literally just a drink. Like I said, we can drink it. And we get regeneration and resistance. So yeah, I'd say this is a pretty broken ability. Oh, the Easter Bunny's here. I literally just saw them out of the corner of my eye. I don't know if they see me. I don't think they saw me. No, they saw me. They definitely saw me. Okay, we gotta go. They're looking. Oh, God. Oh, this is terrifying. They literally don't see me. Oh, my goodness. We're just going in for the kill. Oh, he's here. He's here. He's here. He's in the water. Oh, he sees me now. He sees me now. Nice. One's dead. Dude, our hammer is so strong. And we're doing this in F5, by the way. Oh, wait. I'm stuck. Wait, what? Hold your shield. Hold your shield. Oh, you taped him nice. Yeah, you're stuck in place now. They must have a weapon. They just used a tape gun on me. They made me stick to the ground for three seconds. Oh, God. Okay, I drank the eggnog. I drank the eggnog. That'll give us resistance. He's trying to tape me. Okay, server lagged and I am stuck. Hold it here. Can't break my shield. Oh, he's running. It lagged while I was trying to fight him there and I died. Nice, we got him. Let's go. We won. But oh, we almost died because that lag. We've got the eggs. We did the upgrade. Let's just go home. Okay, now that we have eggnog unlocked, I am feeling a lot better because resistance 2 is actually really broken and makes it so I take almost no damage. We're still really low on hearts. And speaking of, it's time to change that. To go from a baby elf into a rookie toy maker, I need 64 stone, 64 charcoal, and 64 glass. None of which is that hard. So first, let's go in, let's grab some cobblestone, and let's throw it in our furnaces so we can quickly get a stack of stone. Well, that's melting. Let's go grab some logs that we can turn into charcoal. Okay, we've got the 64 logs we need. And with all our stone done, we're now going to smelt our spruce logs. Okay, we now have all the charcoal, so let's sleep. And now all we need left to become a rookie toy maker is a stack of glass, which is super easy to make. So let's get going. Okay, we've mined all the gold we need. So now let's start working on getting the paper and the kills with my hammer we need. Okay, so making a stack of paper is actually super easy. All we need to do is find some sugar cane along this river. Or if we're lucky, we'll find a desert. Okay, we've got all the sugar cane we need. So now let's go back to the base. And now if we simply put the sugar cane like this, 
we're gonna get an absolute boatload of paper. In fact, enough paper to complete the quest of crafting 64 paper. Thank you, thank you for the applause. Oh, thank you, I'm a genius, I know. Anyway, there's only one more quest left to do, and we gotta take out some bunnies. In fact, we literally just need to kill four of them with my hammer, which shouldn't be too hard, except I have no idea where the bunnies are. And you know, I really should probably know that, because the whole point of this is I'm trying to rescue Santa before day 100. Because you guys saw how they were keeping Santa in a jar at the beginning of the video? Well, now is probably a good time to tell you that the only way I can break that jar open is by unlocking the head elf's mallet, which is the last mallet that I unlock. But when I unlock it, I can free Santa. So that's why we have to unlock that mallet before day 100 and free Santa Claus. Otherwise, no Christmas and none of you get presents. Exactly. So let's go save Santa. And so I plan on going to the bunny's base and getting four kills with my hammer. However, on the way to their base, I realized I should probably have a bow. So I went back home, made a bow, and then headed to the Easter Bunny's base. Okay, their base is literally right here. Oh, this is gonna get intense quick. I don't think they see me. Before I fight them, I wanna see if I can find Santa. I haven't had a chance to go in their base yet, but I bet Santa's in there. All three are out. Please don't see me, please don't see me, please don't see me. They didn't see me. Yes, we're in their base. Okay, I found their beds and their lever. Santa! I got Santa back! Oh, they found me! Hey, hey, Ryan, Ryan's in her base! Ryan's in her base! What? I'm farming. They broke their own bed. I have Santa back. Oh my god. I already have Santa back! I can save Christmas! Oh, thank god I have an infinite shield. Who did he? Okay, oh. another one's dead. Oh, I fell down here. At least we killed him! Let's go! We actually did it! I came here to get kills, and instead I got Santa back! This is great news! Let's get out of here. Okay, we're one kill short, but it's not a big deal. Let's just get out of here. We can worry about that kill later. We literally got to- Oh! I see one- No! He's here. He's running. Should I be chasing him? This could be a trap. Oh, it is. It's definitely a trap. He's trying to sticky me. Wait, why does he have a bed? Oh, is this where- he... Wait, did he respawn here? Oh my gosh. No, he took my bed. Oh, he respawned here. Wait, why do you have a bed out here? Okay, well, I'm gonna take it. We got all four kills, and we have Santa. So let's just quickly get out of here. Well, this is amazing. We have Santa, but I can't actually free him from this jar until I get the final mallet. So for now, we have to protect Santa so the bunnies don't take him back. And I gotta be careful, because I only have one life, and the bunnies get infinite. But luckily, I have an amazing hiding place for Santa. You see, above my chest area here, I already started building a walkway. We're gonna put Santa right here on this block, so if I ever need to quickly grab him, I can break the block and he falls in this torch, which will then give Santa back to me. Because while in a jar, Santa basically just acts like a dragon egg. If I right-click him, he'll teleport away. Anyway, now that Santa's safe in our base, we really just have to focus on upgrades for right now. So let's start by unlocking wrapping paper, our brand new combat upgrade. You'll see that with this upgrade, I throw out wrapping paper, and if anyone gets hit by it, they're blind. Like this skeleton down here. You'll see he has a present on his head, and that present is preventing him from seeing literally anything. And just to make matters worse, they also get slowness. Have fun, skeleton! Anyway, with all this done, let's start working on the gift of giving, which requires 16 diamonds, 32 bread, and 64 coal. Now, I already have all the coal I need, so I really just need to get bread and diamonds. And luckily, I know just the place to get bread. We're gonna steal it from some innocent villagers! All this is now mine. And there we go, just like that, we have all the bread we need. Okay, so with the coal and bread already done, we just need to go get some diamonds. So let's go get mining. Okay, we've got all the diamonds that we need, meaning we can already unlock our next upgrade once we grab this coal and some from our furnace. And now we unlock Gift of Giving, which is this present right here. And if I bring this present to a villager, they're gonna trade me something. But I'll show you that tomorrow because it's already dark outside and I don't like zombies. Okay, so we're back at the village and if I give this villager my present, then he just dropped me a bunch of iron. 20 iron. Okay, let's do it again. He just keeps giving me iron. Heck yeah. Thanks, buddy. Can you give me anything else? Diamonds, thank you. So yeah, as you can see, trading with these guys is totally worth it, meaning my next space has definitely got to be near a village so I can trade a lot easier. But anyway, let's just get out of here now that we know what the present does. And now it's time to become a full-size Christmas elf. No more of this tiny elf, tiny heart stuff. I want to become the full Christmas elf with jump four, speed two, and strength one. But unlocking him is actually kind of difficult because I need to make three enchanting tables, get 16 red, white, and green concrete, and 20 emeralds. So let's start by getting the emeralds. Because lucky for me, I live right next to a giant ice mountain anyway. So finding emeralds is super easy. Okay, we've got the 20 emeralds. Now let's go home and start working on some enchanting tables. So obviously to make a bunch of enchanting tables isn't really that hard. In fact, we really just need 12 obsidian, six diamonds, and three books. Easy. So let's start off by crafting ourselves a diamond pickaxe. That way we can easily mine obsidian. And now let's go grab the 12 obsidian from over at this lava pool right here. All we have to do is connect it up here with some water. And there we go, we got ourselves some obsidian. We'll cover that back up. And now let's get mining. 
And there we go, we've got 12 obsidian. Now we just need to go grab some books and we'll be all set. And now I think we have everything to make the enchanting table. Okay, so first let's grab our two diamonds here, our six diamonds here, and our eight diamonds in here. Now let's turn all our sugar cane into paper, surround all our leather and paper, and we got ourselves seven books. Now we simply put the obsidian like this, the diamonds like this, and the books like this, and we get ourselves three enchanting tables. And just like that, all we need is a bunch of concrete, and we can go from a rookie toy maker into the Christmas elf, which is much stronger. So to get the dyes we need, we need 16 green dye, 16 white dye, and 16 red dye. So let's quickly head back to the desert and grab some cactus. Okay, we got the 16 cactus. Now let's go grab 16 red dye from some roses, just like these. And we have some daisies for white dye. Never mind, that's light gray dye. I thought that gave me white dye. I guess it doesn't. Okay, now we've got all the poppies we need. So now it's time for last but not least, white dye, which we have to get from bones. So let's go kill some skeletons. Okay, if we turn these bones into bone meal and then turn the bone meal into dye, we have all the white dye we need. Meaning now we have the white dye, the red dye, and we just gotta smelt the cactus to get the green dye. Okay, let's put four cactus there. So while the cactus is smelting, we're gonna go grab a bunch of sand and gravel because we need to combine the sand and gravel with the dyes to make the concrete powder we need. So let's go grab a bunch of sand and gravel. That is after we make a better shovel because this iron shovel ain't gonna cut it. And now we're ready to go. Okay, all the green dye is now done as well. So with the red dye, the white dye, the green dye, the sand, and the gravel, I can now make a ton of concrete powder. Wait a minute, are you telling me I get eight concrete powder? Okay, I may have mined way too much sand and gravel. Either way though, we have all the concrete powder we need. So tomorrow we're just gonna add some water to it, break the blocks, and that'll give us the concrete blocks we need to become a Christmas elf and finally get 25 hearts of HP. Okay, so let's go and let's start putting our concrete powder down and then throwing water on top so we can turn it into concrete. And just like that, we're starting to get concrete. There's all the red concrete completed. Now we're just gonna, wait, hold on. Oh, the bunnies are here. Oh God, they're coming back to take back Santa. Get to the base. We gotta take Santa before they can. Oh no, they're coming for me. Down here, down here, let's go. Okay, putting water down to slow him down. I need to get Santa. I don't think they saw me go this way. I'm actually kind of hit. I don't think they see me. Oh no, he does, he does, he does, he does. Okay, I'm just gonna fill all this in with gravel. And if they start coming this way, I'm going to immediately save Santa's life. We're just going to start blasting through. Oh, TNT. No, because they could blow up Santa. Ooh, do I right click them? They still haven't found me. I think we're good. They definitely just blew up my base. But we're still here and alive. They just don't know where we are. Oh, I lied. They know where we are. Oh, I was talking to myself. Santa. Wait, where'd Santa go? I just saw Santa disappear. No, did they get Santa? Wait, wait. How did they get Santa? They didn't even break the block below him. Oh, I got him over here. I got him. I got him. I got him. You got Santa? Where'd he go? Wait, did they... Where'd he go? Come on. I think they have Santa. I literally think they have Santa. Is that all of them? Oh, dude, Santa's gone. I don't see Santa anywhere. All that's left is my diamonds and emeralds and bread. Oh, no, they're back. Wait, what? Come on. Okay, he's dead. Oh, he has a bed up there. Yeah, what do you think of this, buddy? Dive. Okay, let's quickly build up. Bed's broken. He's done. He's done. He's low. He's low. Oh, I'm trying so hard, guys. Oh, I'm dead. Yes, we got him. Okay. They should be gone. But the bunnies took back Santa, meaning I have to go rescue him again. So, uh, great. And just to make matters even worse, my base is totally destroyed. So I guess we have no choice but to build a new one. Yay. This is pure excitement in my voice. Let's get to work. My new elf base turned out to be amazing. And while it was a shame to lose the last one, this new one was going to be much safer. Welcome to the brand new elf base. Overall, it's pretty simple. It's just my basic survival stuff. I made a fireplace, the enchanting table, and the nether portal. But besides all that stuff, there's one really cool thing about this base. It has an escape route through this door. But which way do you go? Left or right? Well, that's what makes this fun. Because if you go to the right, you actually go the wrong way. And it will bring you down a tunnel that leads to a sign that simply says, lol, wrong way loser. And if you go the other way, it brings you out a secret exit so we can quickly escape. It may only buy us a few seconds, but it's definitely going to be worthwhile. Anyway, besides that, we can actually upgrade our elf right now. From a rookie toy maker into a Christmas elf. Ta-da! We're a Christmas elf. So there we go. With the 
base complete and my elf complete, we can finally start working on some new upgrades. That is after I show you where I hid the base. Because you see, the base is actually inside of a village, but it's in a super hidden spot. There's no way you can notice that entrance. See, I just simply go up here, jump here, and we're in. There is no way anyone's finding this place. Anyway, let's work on snowball fight. Because you see, snowball fight is actually our next combat upgrade. And to unlock it, we need to summon 12 snow golems. I need to hit myself with 30 snowballs, and I need to get six kills in a snowy biome. Anyway, to make the 12 snow golems we need, we're gonna need pumpkins. And pumpkins aren't too hard to find. We just have to find a small pumpkin patch, and we should have enough. So let's quickly go get some of those. Okay, here's some pumpkins. And we just need one more. But luckily, there's another pumpkin patch literally close by. Now let's grab a bunch of snow, which is also super easy to get, as I just have to get a bunch of snowballs. Well, my shovel broke, so hopefully that's enough. Let's find out. Yeah, I'd say that's definitely enough. So now let's go back to the base and shear these pumpkins. So let's grab our iron, make some shears, and let's shear 12 of these pumpkins. Now let's take them back. Now let's spawn ourselves some snow golem. So we're gonna simply put down two snow blocks and throw one of our carved pumpkins on top, and we get a snow golem. Now let's spawn a bunch. And there we go, 12 snow golems, which are uh, pretty useless now. So they're just gonna chill here. Get it, chill. Oh, snow golem, okay, I'll stop. I'll, I'll truly stop, stinks. I'm sorry. Anyway, before we leave this area, let's quickly hit ourselves with a bunch of snowballs. Throw a bunch in the air, and let's let them hit us. Oh God, only four of those hit. Okay, we'll do it one at a time. You know, I'm just gonna keep throwing snowballs in the air till I get all the hits I need. There we go, boom, 30 out of 30 hits, done. Now we need to get six kills in the snow, but we need to go back to the base because the sun's starting to set. So we'll worry about that tomorrow. Okay, it's day 35 and we just need six kills in a snowy biome, which is the biome we're in. But to make that work, I have to actually lure the Easter Bunny here. And luckily I have the perfect plan to do that. I'm just gonna tell the Easter Bunny where my base is and then build a fake base in that spot because they're gonna do anything in their power to slow me down. So I think this trick should work, hopefully. And so I went ahead and built an igloo trap that would trick the bunnies into attacking me. And once they showed up, I could easily get some kills in the snow biome. Okay, our fake base is complete, and it's pretty basic. It looks like an igloo. You go down this ladder, you go down here to the torch, and you're in the fake base. Once in here, it's gonna be super easy to trap them and get kills, as they'll likely set beds outside too. So let's go ahead and drop the cords. Okay, I dropped my base cords in chat, so we'll see if the bunny takes the bait and shows up here so I can get my six kills in the snowy biome. And now we go hide at this nether portal. Oh wait, I see something in the forest. I think I see them. No, I definitely see them. They definitely see the igloo. Oh, they're going in for it. Did they place beds though? Show yourself coward. Oh, I will. I'm coming in. Don't you worry. One of them's outside. In fact, well, the two are in the base. Let's get the one outside. Okay. Respawn point Damn. set. I'm no! Wait. He's here! He's here! Damn. Okay, one's dead and the other two are in the igloo. This is our chance. We're gonna go down to the igloo. Ready? Wait outside the igloo. He's running. He's running. Uh, oh, he broke my shield. Uh, tape gun. No! He's trying to run. You can't run! Oh, he froze me! Oh, he's low. Shield. Oh. There we go, three kills. Go this way. Wow, that hurt. There we go, we got another one, we got another one. Oh, they're respawning. Yep, they've been somewhere. I just couldn't find them. You can't break my shield, buddy. Oh, they have me frozen again. I'm in trouble here. I only need two kills, though. Oh, we're low. Oh my god. Oh, I gotta go, no. Okay, we got one this way. Eat some food. Nice, we got some food in us. We got him, we got him. We for sure got him. Nice, we got him. That's all the kills we need. We need to go. Okay, it's ice. Do we have a boat? We don't have a boat on us. Okay, that's fine. I have a way I can get away here. Okay, they're literally on my tail. I don't know I'm gonna get out of this one. I literally don't know I'm gonna get out of this one. Eat some food. Okay, hit him back. Go this way. We're frozen. He's done. He's done. One of them's trying to bow from the back. We can take advantage of this. He's running. In fact, we got zombies to cover us. Eat while the zombies protect us. Okay, as one comes in here. Ready? We're gonna get him with the wrapping paper. Oh, he's blind. There we go. Oh, I can't see anything, dude. Oh, it's it's black. It's all black. I'm dead. Nice, we got him. We got him with the present. Okay, let's blind the other one. He's blind. Oh, we got him. Nice, he's dead. Let's go. Let's get out of here before the others come back. I see one in the distance. We should be able to ditch him. We should be able to ditch him. We're gonna hop off this ice path. Nice, we should be far enough away where we lost him. Let's go. We are out of here. Okay, we can officially unlock the third combat upgrade, snowball fight, which lets me throw a giant snowball that freezes anyone hit by it. Let me show you. Do I throw my giant snowball at the wall? Wow, that was not giant. Look, it says throw a snowball with a large, no oh, large knockback. I'm dumb, okay? I thought it said large snowball. Okay, we throw a normal snowball with a large knockback. Let's go try it on a mob or something because it's not really fun throwing it at a wall okay cow you're going flying 
Yeah, that does have pretty high knockback. Okay, yeah, that's pretty good. But I'm not gonna lie, we're still not strong enough. In that fight to get the six kills, I'm not gonna lie, I was having a really hard time. And I think it's just because my hearts aren't high enough. Sure, I have a bunch of temporary hearts, but those aren't permanent. They don't last forever. So we definitely need more hearts. But since we're doing good on temporary hearts right now, we're gonna work on the next utility upgrade, Christmas Magic, which is a really broken upgrade that gives me three extra jumps and lets me choose my enchantments, which is broken. Now to actually unlock it, I need six enchanted books, six potions, and 128 red stone dust. So let's do the easy part. and Let's quickly enchant six books. Now we currently have 10 leather inside this chest here. So we just need to grab some sugar cane so we can make some paper and then turn them into books. Okay, that is definitely enough sugar cane. Now let's just turn it into paper. Now we just put some leather in the corner and we get a bunch of books, which we can bring over to our enchanting table and begin to enchant. If I remember to bring lapis. Okay, let's get to work. First, we're going to get a power one book. And just like that, we have the six enchanted books we need. So all we need left is six potions and a bunch of redstone. So let's start going to the nether so we can start getting all our potion supplies. Okay, we're in the nether. Now let's just go find ourselves a nether fortress. Okay, we made it. We found a nether fortress. Now let's go grab some nether warts. Here we go, nether wart spotted. Now we just need some blaze rods so we can at least turn them into strength potions. And so we can make a brewing stand and power it. Okay, we've got all the blaze rods we need, so let's go back to the base and make some potions. First things first, let's go in and let's make two brewing stands. And let's put them over here. Now let's go ahead and make some glass bottles with some glass. Let's fill them up with water. Now we're gonna add them to our brewing stand and we're gonna turn all of our blaze rods into blaze powder. Add a blaze powder to each and now we're gonna make some potions. First, we add a nether wart to each top one and that's gonna make us an awkward potion. Now I wasn't positive that would count as a potion. So just to be safe, I grabbed extra blaze powder so I could turn it into strength potions if it doesn't count. Okay, the awkward potions are done. Let's grab them. And let's see if they count. Oh, they do count. I guess we don't need to waste any blaze rods. Well, with the potions out of the way, we literally just need some redstone dust. So let's quickly hit the hay and then go mine for some tomorrow. Okay, we've got all the redstone we need, which means we can unlock Christmas magic, uh, which I just unlocked, which does absolutely nothing. Yay. Well, right now anyway. Okay, we're back home and let me show you what Christmas magic does. Now you're probably thinking it probably has something to do with the enchanting table since I could pick any enchantment I want, but you're wrong. I actually just have to hit my H key and you're going to see that it pulls up the Christmas magic menu. So as an example, if I put my pickaxe inside and we select level four, we can get efficiency four or five or six. Or, you know, efficiency 10. That's how broken this is. I could get sharpness 10 on anything I want. But we'll worry about that later because we kind of have to stockpile XP for that to really be effective. So for now, let me quickly show you the other side of the Christmas magic ability. You see, not only can I choose my enchantment, but I now can jump three times. Look at this. One, two, three. So if I need to quickly escape, I could go one, two, three. And now I'm on the house. Yeah, so I can triple jump, basically. So triple jumping and enchanting. I'd say this was the best upgrade yet. And now it's time to become Santa's right-hand man. You see, right now, I'm actually just a Christmas elf. Wearing green and, you know, the guys you see making toys and all those Christmas specials. But I want to be his right-hand man. Only one elf can be Santa's right-hand man. And that's got to be me. So to do it, I need one heart of the sea, one totem of undying, and 24... Wait, excuse me, what? 24 golden apples? Okay, well, I guess we need that. Well, I guess we're gonna need an absolute boatload of golden apples, but I don't want to do that right now. So let's go ahead and grab the heart of the sea first. Now to find that, we just have to go ahead and craft a boat. And now we have to go take to the open seas and hopes we find a sunken ship with a buried treasure map. Okay, we found our first shipwreck. Let's go. Please have buried treasure. Okay, first chest. No way. We got a first try. We literally just got buried treasure first try. Let's go. We already got it. First try. Okay, now let's look at the map. Okay, it looks like we're to the south of it. If we head straight north, we should eventually get there. Okay, so this direction's north. Now the buried treasure's never too far from the map, so I doubt it's crazy far. The next day. Oh, we're finally loading in. Let's go. Yeah, remember when I said this was gonna be quick? This took forever. This treasure was so far away. Okay, I think it's gonna be in the sea again. Okay, it's somewhere right here. We're getting really close. Okay, it's definitely in the ocean. It's right below me right now. Okay, if our boat's right here, and it's below our boat. It's gotta be in this sand or gravel. Boat's here, so it's gotta be in this gravel. Oh, we got it. We got it. We got a heart of the sea. Let's go. We have everything we need. Grab it all. Grab it all. Grab it all. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Yes, let's go. We've got the heart of the sea. Now we can finally go home and leave this stupid boat. I'm done exploring the ocean. Okay, with the heart of the sea in hand, we literally just need a totem of undying and 24 golden apples. So let's quickly go gather a bunch of apples and then grab gold to turn it into golden apples. Okay, now that we've got all the apples we need, let's go to the nether and grab a ton of gold to make golden apples. 
Now, the nether fortress was that way, meaning there's got to be a bastion this way. Or that's my logic anyway. I have no clue if this is actually going to work. Let's go. I called it. There's actually a bastion this way. And with my triple jump, getting to it is super easy. Oh, God. Okay, maybe not that easy. Ah! Oh, okay, there's... Let's mine this gold block. And now let's explore the rest of this bastion for more gold. Would you leave me alone? Okay, we're in the chest room. Any piglins here? Okay, we got one over here. Okay, let's check for golden blocks. None in this one. Oh, we got some gold and gold blocks. Let's go. Oh, we got a lot of good stuff in this one. Netherite scraps. Okay, we got four gold blocks. Still not enough gold, but we're getting there. Okay, there should be more inside the actual bastion down below. So let's go see what we can find. Okay, let's grab this gold block down here. And now let's dig out the floor. And there should be more down below this floor as well. There we go. We found one. Oh, we found multiple. Now let's dig under here. See if we can find more. Oh, we found more. Let's go. That's 14 blocks of gold. Nice. Another gold block in this chest. There's another two in this one as well. Okay, now let's dig under these faces and see if we have more gold. We do. Oh, my goodness. Look at it all. That's seven. Eight. Okay, there we go. We've definitely got enough gold blocks. Let's go back to the base and make a bunch of golden apples. Okay, so I can get a totem of undying by either going to a woodland mansion or by doing a raid. But I'm not gonna lie, the raid method is kind of annoying because it's dependent on the difficulty of the world. And I'm pretty sure we're on normal, but I'm not positive. So we're gonna go to a woodland mansion just to be safe. Now to get to a woodland mansion, we're gonna need glass panes, compasses, paper, and a bunch of other stuff. So let's get to work. First, let's grab some sugar cane. Now let's grab a bunch of sand. Okay, we've got all the sand we need. Now let's go back to the base and make some compasses. And the rest of the stuff we'll need to get the woodland map. So first things first, let's make a bunch of paper. Now let's throw our sand in our furnace and start smelting it. Let's make two compasses. And then let's just simply grab our emeralds from the chest. Okay, this should be enough glass. Okay, no, it's definitely not. That was only enough for a stack. We need one more stack of glass panes. Okay, and just like that, we have all the glass panes, paper, cartography table, emeralds, and compasses that we need. Now let's go find a village. Okay, villager, take this job. Now we're gonna go ahead and trade for a bunch of emeralds with paper. Get this guy up to max level. Now we'll wait for him to turn into a gold cartographer which he's done now we trade him the glass panes and now we go ahead and get our woodland explorer map by simply trading him some emeralds and a compass and now we can follow the map to find the woodland mansion map and get the totem of undying we need it looks like it's pretty far so let's get moving okay we're definitely getting close i don't see the woodland mansion yet but i know it's definitely around here oh i see it okay let's go get that totem of undying real quick okay we're in let's go find one. Oh, i see one already okay we got the totem oh there's another one hidden behind this wall Okay, we got him. Okay, we got two totems. That's good enough. I'm out of here. Okay, now that we have the totem of undying, we can go from a basic Christmas elf into Santa's right hand elf. You see, now I have my Santa suit on, so that way you know who is Santa's right-hand man. Now that we're Santa's right-hand man, we have 35 hearts of HP, meaning we finally have more hearts than the three kids hunting us down who have 30. On top of that, I also have speed three now and strength two. Though even with the strength two, I'm not sure if it's strong enough. So I want to get something really strong, like the ornament cannon. It basically shoots giant exploding ornaments. Uh, there's not really much else to it. I just want to see things blow up. But unlocking it's kind of hard, because I need to enchant a bow with a level 30 enchantment, Hit a warden 30 times with a bow and kill eight players with a bow. None of which is easy at all. And I don't even have 30 levels to get a max level bow yet. So let's quickly go down to the caves and start killing mobs and mining till we get to level 30. Okay, we're level 30. So let's open up the enchanting table, throw in some lapis, throw in the bow, and let's grab the level 30 enchantment, which is power four infinity unbreaking three. Holy cannoli, that's good. Now we just gotta go hit a warden with it 30 times and get eight player kills. There's definitely some shulker. Oh, we found an ancient city. Look at that. Now we just need to go ahead and get a warden summon and hit him 30 times with a bow. Oh, we go and spawn. We hit the warden once, twice, three, four. Oh, we killed it. We killed a warden. 30 hits with our bow is what it took to kill that thing. Warden down and just some kids left that we got to take down. Okay, for this next upgrade, I'm not going to lie. It's going to be pretty hard. We need eight kills on players with a bow. And while I do have a pretty strong bow, I can't guarantee I can get all eight kills. But luckily, I have a plan. We're going to bring a bunch of blocks with us, build a trap base, and get some easy bow kills from high in the sky. So first, let's go mining and quickly grab some supplies. And tomorrow, we'll head out and start building our trap base. 
Okay, so I found out where the bunnies were living. They're literally on this hill over here, which is why I'm gonna build a trap base over on this hill over here. First things first, let's build a bunch of blocks up in the sky. And now let's start going over this way. Okay, the base is complete. We got our bed up here, which is just so we can pass the night. And then we got a simple structure that's gonna make it easy for me to bow people off the sides. So now we go to bed, and tomorrow we lure the bunnies into our trap. Okay, it's day 57. Now the enemy's base is literally just over there. You can see that tiny bit of wood right there. So now we're just gonna get their attention, which I'm gonna do by building over there with a bunch of blocks. Okay, we're literally right above their base. Do they see me? Oh, they definitely see me. Okay, let's put some walls up real quick. What is this? Bro is playing Sky Snake. Now, let's see if I can get them to follow. Are they following? Oh, yeah, they're following. Okay, let's go this way. We don't have to chase you. We have Santa. I'm not climbing up that. Oh, right. Wait a sec. They don't have to fight me. They have Santa. Why would they come up here if they have Santa? I think my plan just totally backfired. They don't have to attack me. Okay, well, I guess we got to fight. Let's go. Here we go. We're diving. Oh, dude, he's jumping. He's jumping. Oh, okay, we need to get a bunch of kills with a bow. Okay, we killed one. Nice, we got one. Four kills already. Let's keep going. Okay, we broke his shield. Nice. Nice, we got him. Oh my goodness. Let's go. We got six. Oh, we got him again. Wait, I have an idea. I have an idea. Dude, he can't shoot us if we're in the mine carts. That's not going to save you, bud. That's not going to save you, dude. Wait, we got only kills. Oh, we're, we're low on health. Hold on. Luckily, we don't need any more kills. So uh, let's go. Oh, no, they trapped me. I'm stuck. Ooh, I have the totem. I'm flying. Let's get out of here. Okay, now that we've finished all the quests, let's unlock ornament cannon, which is this cannon in my hand that shoots out ornaments. That explodes. So if I don't like this tree, well, goodbye tree. If I don't like this tiny shrub, goodbye tiny shrub. And it only takes a little energy to use, so I can spam it too. Now, on top of causing explosions, anything it hits also starts to bleed. Let me show you. Oh, wait. I don't think I could bleed myself. Well, trust me, it works. Anyway, now that we get the ornament cannon, it's time to unlock everyone's favorite reindeer, Rudolph. Now, to unlock Rudolph, I need 12 leads, one name tag, and one elytra. And I see elytra on that list, meaning we gotta go to the end. So let's head to the nether and start gathering up some blaze rods. Okay, we've got all eight blaze rods that we need. Now let's go get some ender pearls from a bastion. Okay, we found a fresh bastion. Now let's just go steal a bunch of gold from it. Okay, let's grab this gold block, this gold block. Now let's go grab all the gold down here. Okay, we've got 28 gold blocks, which is definitely enough to get all the ender pearls we need. So let's go trap a few piglins and start trading. Okay, piglins are trapped. Now we just gotta wait for them to start trading us ender pearls. Okay, we've got all 16 ender pearls we need from these guys, so we're gonna just finish them off. And now we can start going to the end. Okay, let's go ahead and start by turning our blaze rods into blaze powder, combining that with our ender pearls, and getting 16 eyes of ender. Now we can take these pearls and head straight to the portal. But before we go, we're gonna need some other supplies first, like some more food, a water bucket, and stuff like that. Let's go in. Let's actually quickly make a smithing table. And let's put our sharpness 10 diamond sword in there. So we have a sharpness 10 netherite sword. And now we're ready to go take on the dragon. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's throw the first eye of Ender. That way. Now we just got to start running and hope it's not too far away. Oh, wait, the eye turned around. We passed it. It's somewhere back here. Where's that? Oh, it went down. We're literally right above it. Okay, so let's go dig down straight here then. We found it. Now we just got to find the portal room. Oh, we found it. It's down here. I got it. Bring it on, Endy. Okay, let's quickly climb all his towers and take out all the end crystals. All crystals down. He's done. We got the dragon. He's done. See you later, dude. Okay, now let's quickly get the dragon egg. Now, I'm assuming the bunnies aren't coming to try and stop me because they have Santa right now. Otherwise, they probably would have been here. Dragon egg acquired. But now let's go to the outer end and get some end rods, some elytra, and the dragon head. Okay, we're at the outer end, and I don't see an end city anywhere. Okay, well, we got to get looking. Let's go find an end city. This is the worst luck I've had in the end ever. I went to eight different end cities, and not one of them had an elytra ship. It took until day 66 till I finally found one. Oh, I see an end city. Oh, it's got a ship. Now, we already have all the end rods we need, so all we need left is the dragon head and the elytra. So let's climb this end city and get to that ship. Okay, we made it to the elytra ship. Let's go down here and grab our elytra. Now, let's loot these chests and let's get that guy out of here. That is after we get the dragon head, which is right here. And now we've got the dragon head, meaning we can finally go back home. Whee! And we're home! Dude, he's here, he's here, he's here. He's here. Oh, oh, nice! Oh, God! Oh! Oh, we got him. Where did they come from? Oh, I see them. He survived that? Dude, no way. Oh, they're trying to get us. Let's enter pearl up there. And now we can climb these ladders. Okay, go over here. I guess they found my base. Okay, one's coming up right now. We'll get him. Nice, we got him. He's dead. Oh, they have me on fire. Okay, there's one more. Oh my goodness. Okay, if they're getting me with their cannons, I'm gonna just spam my cannon on him. Oh, he died by fire. That was really close though. Um, my health is literally almost gone. And my base is mostly toast. Though it does look like some of my chests survived. So we should be able to rebuild with no trouble. We definitely need a new base because I don't think this is gonna work anymore. So I obviously had to build a new base. The Easter Bunny saw I was fighting in the end and took advantage of that to try and slow me down. But will it be enough to stop me? I'm not so sure. Okay, welcome to the brand new elf base. It looks pretty much the same. It's just a lot smaller. And if you go 
go find the nether portal. That's where the enchanting room is in my beds. But yeah, that's the base. And now we can start working on upgrades again. Now we still need 12 leads to finish up the Rudolph upgrade as we already have both a name tag and an elytra. So all we literally need is some slime balls to make some leads. So we're gonna start heading to a swamp. And when it's nighttime, we're gonna kill some slimes. Okay, we're in a swamp, but I see a tiny little slime behind me, which will give us our first slime ball we need. Or not, he didn't, he didn't drop one. Okay, we've got all the slime balls we need. Now let's just go home. Okay, now if we combine all of our string with all of our slime balls, we get ourselves 32 leads, which is more than we need. Let's grab our name tag and let's grab our elytra and let's unlock them. And with Rudolph, we can ride it like a horse that has the ability to fly. So let's go test Rudolph out. Okay, so let's go and let's summon Rudolph. Ta-da, it's Rudolph. Now I can hop on his back and he can fly just like Rudolph. So now I have an easy way to get around and save Santa. Now with Rudolph unlocked, there's literally three upgrades to go. We have the final elf upgrade. We have the Christmas tree upgrade, and we have the head elf's mallet. So basically, what we need left is a beacon, 12 netherite scraps, 200 logs chopped, we gotta kill a wither, kill 10 players with our ornament cannon. Wait a minute. Wait, can we unlock another one? And rods, check. Dragon egg, check. And our toy maker's hammer. We can unlock the head elf's mallet already. Boom, we got it. Just like that, we literally just got it. It's literally just a thicker hammer, but it does a lot more damage, and it can free Santa. So I guess we only have two more upgrades to go. And since we need a wither kill, let's head to the nether and start getting some wither skeleton skulls. And now let's go to a fortress. Okay, we've got all the wither skeleton skulls now. So let's go back to the base and go kill a wither. Okay, let's put the soul sand like this. And the wither's ready to fight. Now, I have a really strong bow, so this fight shouldn't be too difficult. And just like that, the wither's dead, and we have his nether star. Which, now that we have the nether star, we can make the beacon that we need for the elf upgrade. That actually make a beacon, you just need three obsidian, five glass, and one nether star. But I don't have all the supplies right now, so let's do something we can do. Like, cut down 200 trees. Okay, there we go. We've chopped all 200 logs, which means all we need left is some netherite scraps, a beacon, and 10 kills with the ornament cannon. Okay, so we currently don't have any more obsidian that we need to actually craft a beacon. So let's quickly run down to the mine and grab some. Okay, we've got all three obsidian. So now if we combine the three obsidian with five glass and our nether star. Okay, we've got ourselves a beacon, which means all we need is some netherite scraps and 10 ornament cannon kills, and we can save Santa. Okay, so I'm gonna deal with getting the kills with the ornament cannon for last. So for now, instead, we're gonna just get all the ancient debris we need. Hold up, do I have two at home? Yeah, we have two ancient debris at home and a netherite scrap, meaning we only need nine. Let's go get mining. Okay, we have 10 ancient debris, which we're gonna quickly smelt up and turn into netherite scraps. And there we go, we have 13 netherite scraps, meaning we have everything to become an elf, which means it's time to say goodbye to Santa's little helper tomorrow, because it's nighttime. Okay, so it is time to say goodbye to Santa's little helper and hello to the elf. We are now a full-fledged elf. If I'm not strong enough to save Santa now, I genuinely don't know what it's going to take. But I'll tell you one thing, I'm coming for you, Santa. Let's grab some supplies real quick so that we can go to the bunny's base and hopefully rescue Santa. On days 87 and 88, I went looking for the Easter Bunny's base. Oh, I see their base. I see a literal giant bunny and I saw someone going inside. Good job, Rudolph. We need to get 10 kills with the ornament cannon. Let's just fly by this way. Go around the back of the mountain. Hopefully they didn't see me. Let the battle begin. Dude, he's flying away. He's a reindeer. <laughs> We got two kills since we killed two of them with magic and chat. So let's just keep bombing them. Okay, who do we got left? Oh, you're done. Okay, he's in trouble. He's in trouble. He should die here. They killed Rudolph. I killed his reindeer. Wait, what? Go over here. Now bleed that one. Oh, we got four of them now. We need another Rudolph. Go, Rudolph, go. Here we go. And... Okay, two of them are bleeding. Oh, we carpet bombed this again. I'm bleeding. It's over for me, boys. Nice. We got two of them with that. We got two of them with that. Four more kills with this cannon. Good job, Rudolph. You're doing good. Eat some eggnog and let's bomb them. Oh, that hurts. He's bleeding. We literally just need one more. They're all just dying to it below. Oh, if I get him, he's done. He's done. Once he dies of bleed, we win. We'll have all 10 kills we need. There we go. 10 out of 10. Okay, now we just have to try and rescue Santa. Though I have no idea where he could be. Oh, he's, he's in inside. Base. He's in our base. Okay, we're in. I see their beds. Oh, I'm frozen. I'm, I'm too big to be. Oh, God, this was a bad idea. I gotta get out of here. Come on, sharpness 10. Oh, let's go. They all just died, but we need to run. I'm not gonna be able to get in there without dying. I'm too big of an elf. We gotta free Santa. Let's go. If I can get Santa on this day and free him, that would be incredible. Oh, I can't get in. What is this? Wool? There we go. We're in. Oh, they're hitting me. Come on. No. Okay, they're hurting. Break their bed. One, two, three. They're gone. They can't respawn. Where's Santa though? Oh, they had Santa that appeared. One of them took him. Okay, we went ahead and killed them, but it looks like they took Santa. So I still don't have Santa. They're not respawning anymore. Meaning for now, let's just go back to the base and do our last upgrade. Okay, let's go ahead and let's unlock the last combat upgrade, Christmas tree, which when I use it, spawns a Christmas tree that'll attack anything nearby. Uh, but there's nothing nearby. So I guess this one's just a decoration. 
not because it explodes when you kill it. So anyway, with Christmas tree unlocked, we literally have everything we need to free Santa. Meaning all we have to do is find the bunny's new base, rescue Santa, and break him out of that jar with this mallet. From days 91 to 94, I went looking for Santa to save Christmas. While I was looking, I traded my present with some villagers to get a ton of loot ready for the final battle. Wait a minute. Did I just see? I just think I saw a nameplate underground. Hold on. They, no, they might be right here. Oh my God, no. They're underneath. I found their base. They made it under the water, so I can't take Rudolph. I'm heading into the village real quick to see if uh, our elf friend is around. He doesn't even see me. He doesn't even see me. He doesn't even see me. He is around. What? Oh, he's here. He's here. He's here. He's here. He's here. I bet you Santa's at the end of this. If I'm quick enough, I might be able to save Santa. I can't let them take Santa. Oh, what? Ow. What is happening? You know, we're going over him. We're going over him. I'm sniping him. He's got to be low, bro. Oh, I'm stuck. No, I can't move. He's in the lava. He's in the lava. We got him. Oh, I can't even see anything. It's so laggy. It's okay. We got the totem. I see their beds. I see their beds. Okay, we broke one of the beds. The beds are destroyed. The beds are destroyed. Not the beds, bro. Okay, we're doing good. Getting Santa is going to be a little bit tougher than I thought, though. Help <laughs> me. I'm almost out of caps, bro. We're starting to die. I got another one. I got two of them. Dude, Why? I'm literally at half a heart. No! I'm, I'm spawning the wither. Yeah. Jose, spawn the wither. Spawn the wither. Wait. Oh god, a wither's spawning. Oh, he's fighting him. They're playing backfire. The wither's going after him. I can use it to my advantage. Okay, let's break this obsidian here. Okay, now let's put the torch down. And now we literally just have to break this above it and we have it. The wither's gonna let us win. We got Santa. We got Santa. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's get far away from here. And we are gone. And we have Santa right here. Meaning all I have to do is put Santa down on the ground and use my hammer <laughs> to free oh. Santa. Christmas is saved. The elf wins. After freeing Santa, he went back to the North Pole to prepare for Christmas. And he gave me a bow to take care of the bunnies once and for all. Okay, I see spawn. All we gotta do is shoot him with this bow, and the bunnies are banned from this server. Okay, they don't even see me coming in. In fact, let's go, let's jump in. Here we go. Here's a bunch of Christmas trees. Go, get on my Christmas trees! Look at it, it's just nuking them. And while they're distracted, let's pick them off and ban them. One ban. Two ban. Just keep firing at him. He, he can't dodge forever. Okay, he should be here. Okay, he should have just spawned below us. Where is he? He's right here. Oh, I see him. Hello, you're banned! And with that, all the Easter bunnies and his minions are banned. Meaning as an elf, we have saved Christmas and saved Santa before day 100. Thanks for watching!